how to actually make revenue wholesaling real estate with no marketing ad spend. We're gonna break down exactly how I was able to make six figures when I started by wholesaling real estate without any ad spend, okay? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel again. In this video, we're gonna break down how to actually make revenue wholesaling real estate with no marketing ad spend. Now, I want you to go and get your notepad. We're gonna break down exactly how I was able to make six figures when I started by wholesaling real estate without any ad spend, okay? And I'm gonna leave all the resources that I mentioned here in the links below, all right? So the first step in learning how to wholesale without any marketing ad spend is to understand where are the landlord buyers, where are your flippers at, where are your owner financier buyers, because those are the buyers that are gonna tell you exactly what the buy box is, okay? And what we're gonna do is gonna be a mix between being a bird dog or a wholesaler. Now, what do I mean like a hybrid mix? I call this becoming the dispo arm in wholesale real estate. Okay. The reason it's important for you to understand how to dispo effectively and how to get paid while doing it is because you're going to get your behind in a title company in a transaction. That is where we make our money. All right. So if you know, and you understand where your cash buyers are at, meaning landlords, owner financiers or flippers, I mean, surprise, they are all over the internet, all right? Um, so you wanna start communicating, networking with them. I'm gonna give you a few tips as to where to find them. First of all, look at a website for rent by owners. Uh, also, affordable housing or section eight. These are people that own property that are landlords that you know either have a vacant property that they're looking to lease or they're probably looking for more rental properties. And landlord buyers are probably gonna be your best buyers for below median sales price property, all right? The second uh, place that I want you to start digging is in uh, real estate investing meetups, all right? REIA's, R-E-I-A, Real Estate Investing Association meetings. They should be a couple in your local area. Some of them are even done online. You wanna go ahead and go in there and go ahead and network with those people in there because they're your buyers, they're your market buyers, all right? But your landlords are gonna pay more than your flippers. And the other folks are the owner financiers that sometimes they pay more than landlords. And these owner financiers, their whole game is to go ahead and buy a property, sometimes fix it up, sometimes not, and sell it on terms because they're essentially leveraging private money, all right? And so with that said, with owner financiers, you want to get to understand where are they operating at and what their buy box is. Now, while you do that, and if you essentially start having at least 10 to 15 conversations daily. And I gave you a few resources. You can go to affordable housing. You can go to section eight, you know, see those listings. You can look for for rent by owners. Um, you can go on Craigslist or Zillow and look for for sale by owners or like no money down or down payment type of advertisements, people that are trying to move property. Those are going to be your owner financiers and a landlord. Your flippers, the best way to connect with them is going into your Zillow or your multiple listing service and looking for recently rehab properties and reaching out to the agents that are listing for them. All right. That's one way in addition to the RIAs um, to get in touch with them. And that's going to get you conversations. I don't want you to overthink this. The whole buying buy box is going to fluctuate anywhere between 60 cents on the dollar for like really rural areas to maybe like 80, 85 cents on the dollar and sometimes even 90 cents on the dollar for really hot markets. So depending on the area and where the market is at is kind of their buy box. But the idea is for you to start building your buyers list, which is going to become an asset for you. All right. Now, the next step is there's virtual wholesalers just like me that need boots on the ground. All right. And they are in plenty of free Facebook groups and you can join our free Facebook group. I'm going to leave a link here below. You can go ahead and network with these virtual wholesalers and say, hey, I will be your boots on the ground for free. Send me a DM for more details. And what these people are gonna do is they're gonna reach out, hey, how does it work? And you're gonna and you're gonna say the following, all right? So the first thing is you're gonna say, hey, so here's the deal, brother uh, or sister, right? 
you're going to say, hey, I will go ahead and be your boots on the ground, meaning I will take pictures and I will put a lockbox on the property for you if need be, if that's the case, um, as long as you let me bring my cash buyers and have first dibs in providing you an on-site cash offer. What that is going to do is it's going to allow you to bring value to that wholesaler, right? And bring your buyers, those landlords, flippers, owner financiers that you've been networking with and get them first dibs in any market in your market because you're helping the wholesaler get the pictures and get the lockbox all right now if no buyer of yours is interested in this deal from this wholesaler right then you go ahead and say hey brother if nobody's interested none of my buyers are interested in even making an offer then you know just pay me 50 bucks 60 bucks whatever you know is a normal rate you don't want to make it super expensive you just want to cover a little bit of your time and the gas and build that relationship and by the way if you just send me crap I'm not going to do any more of these for you. All right. I'm not going to do any more of these for you. So if you have no marketing funds, all right, I want you to go ahead and follow this protocol network with at least 15 other investors. All right per day. What does that mean? Meaning or calling for rent by owner postings, whether it's a Craigslist, maybe some of those, you know, X money down payment or no credit check listings, because those are your owner financiers and your fix and flippers, you can call the listing agent for a recently rehab house. I'm going to leave a link here to uh, REI Automator, which is a software that allows you to see a list of flippers um, that have listed flips on the market. And it's going to give you the agent's information, how has a seven day free trial. And yes, it is an affiliate link, but you should try it out. It's a really great tool and we use it on a constant basis. And then I want you to go ahead and talk with at least 10 wholesalers that are looking, you know, are looking for cash buyers or are posting deals. And you're going to do that on Facebook groups and you're going to do that as well on other sites like Craigslist, you know, when you, whenever you see wholesale deals posted. And there's another great website called myhousedeals.com where you can actually submit inquiries for those wholesalers. And just keep in mind, you know, as a last piece of advice, just keep in mind that this is going to be a snowball effect. It's not going to happen overnight. And I'm going to leave in the link description below a JV agreement template that you can use. And I'm not giving you legal advice and I'm not a licensed attorney, but I'm I'm going to give you a link right here below so you can download a digital asset, uh, you know, a JV agreement so that when you bring your cash buyer to the wholesaler's deal, you can write that up and you make sure that you get paid because the idea is that the wholesaler is direct to seller. OK, ideally, he's direct to seller. So make sure you make note of this. All right and that you can actually get them in writing to agree to pay you a portion of the assignment fee or proceeds net proceeds now you know i would stand here and say 50 50 is a is a fair trade um i think that would make sense but go ahead feel your market out the idea is to get you in a transaction and actually closing deals let me know in the comments below what sort of questions you have or maybe what sort of other topics uh, we should cover in our next youtube video and i think you should go ahead and stick around for this next video that's coming up where it's going to help you out a lot so make sure you subscribe and like appreciate y'all and see you in the other video